Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I'll have to check on that because I don't see it. Okay. Thank you. I'll try it this way. Uh, really? Um, I'll just stay here. Okay, can everybody hear me? Um, that's interesting over there. Let me go here. Can everyone hear me? How am I? I'm fine. Can everyone hear me? Can you hear me, dear? Great! <laughs> It takes a village, as they say. Oh, my goodness. Hi, everybody. Okay. This is a, a special edition. If you just... Oh, dear. Fan, fan. Hot, hot. Got a fan. Got to have a fan. <laughs> hot flash. If you uh, looked at our channel this week, there's a brief little um, video up there, and the others have to go up. I'm just connecting to devices, you all. Um, to show you uh, what we are doing here. Oh, there I am. Uh, this week. Oh, oh, I have to turn this one down. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Okay, what we are doing. And um, we're busy, folks. So without further ado, what we're going to do tonight is I have, well, first, I have my super duper YouTube pillow. Um, wait a minute. Isn't that lovely? Actually, it's just a, uh, the cover. I found out about these over at Mickey XOXO. Okay. And um, she had an affiliate link below. They're only like $4 or something. I got mine from Amazon. But if you know someone and someone that comes to my mind just like that is Two Family Homestead. If you know someone that has an affiliate through Amazon, um, you may want to go through there. You know, it always pays to help out other YouTubers and um, get you one. But everybody, <laughs> this reverse is a riot. So I wanted to show you that because everybody has them. Ugh, this is really something. Yeah, there we go. Yay, YouTube. And they have Facebook and Twitch and Twitter and everything. So I intend to get them all. Okay. So for now, I'm going to set this. Oh, you know what? I should set it up here where everybody can see it. The heck with the lights. I see our YouTube, our YouTube pillow. Yeah, how's that? That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Second, I'm going to type in um, the address here um, of this. It's in our description. Let me make sure it's in there. Uh, okay, Life of a Mill Wife. A friend of our community on YouTube. Um Actually, I'm a part of the big, broad YouTube community. But this was this is the community dear to my heart. Not that all of you aren't dear to my heart, but the one that um, got, got us going. I didn't know where the rest of y'all were at the time. Okay, while you're in here, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, um, and she's in Canada. And I think it's $25. If you send her $25, she has a PayPal. Whoops, my dress on there. PayPal link. Um... 
she will send you a goodie box. And I've been holding on to this for days. Uh, I was gonna do um, a separate. I hope. I hope she can. I, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna text her, or I'm gonna text somebody and tell them. Um, let me see because I don't want her to miss this, but it'll be up. Um, let me see. Let me see. I know who can reach her by phone, by text, by carrier pigeon. Okay. Uh, opening Kelly's. Anyway, I you know I started seeing. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Everybody else, uh, Kelly's box. So, it, you know, let her know. Okay. So, no. So if you, you know, this is like something really cool here. I think it's really cool. But if, you know, you, you, you save up or whatever you, you have to do here. Oh, Lord, Twitter. Oh, yeah, great. Doesn't like Twitter. Well, maybe it's on Twitter. Who knows what's going on over there? Um, let me try. Oh, I'll, I'll check that out later. Um, I'm just trying to see where this stream is going. Okay. Anyway, um, I put her uh, YouTube channel right in the description. I'm almost positive that's it. I, I copied and pasted it. And I'm going to, oh yeah, nice pillow. I think it's like $4.99 or something. And I don't know what the shipping is. They're inexpensive. And like I said, they have Facebook and Twitter and Twitch. And I don't know, whatever else, you know, you would want to um, to see. Now, oh, I have to find my way back to, to uh, YouTube here. Whoa, YouTube. No, let me see what's going on over here. I don't know what's going on over there. Okay, so anyway, let me get back here. Okay, so I'm going to open it. Yay! I've been waiting because I, I want to do this, you know, so that everybody can see what's in it. Yay! And it's, it's a goodie box. So any goodies in here will be from Canada. Okay? So I'm going to open it up. Yay! Let's see. And I have, oh, I have Keaton the koala. Yay! I got the koala beer. I love koala beers. Yeah. Um. So anyway, which way am I supposed to open this? Maybe this way. Okay. So we'll see what's in here. Uh, how's everybody doing with your uh, YouTube journey? Uh, feel free to... um. You know, support one another in here. You know, uh, we all are in this together, okay? Uh, you know, I'm trying to keep the box in one piece. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. You know, we're all in this together. So everybody support everyone. Mol Molina. You're new here. Hi, Molina. Good to see you. Okay. So let's see. Paper. Okay, there was a time I used to save all this paper. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, boy, look at this. Has anybody ever had these? They're good. Ketchup, Lay's po ketchup potato chips. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Folks, I just want to tell you, ice cream and all this stuff. Oh, boy, I go nuts. Okay, let me set this over here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Isn't that cool? Okay. Uh, all right. Decide it later. Mods. Okay. There we go. Let's see. What else do I have? Oh, the arrows. These are um, peppermint. They're peppermint and chocolate. I don't think you can find these over here in the States, as they call it. Okay. Yeah. Do I need my glasses for this? Bah. I want to see. <laughs> see food. Okay. Macintosh's toffee. I like any kind of toffee. I never heard of this. Has anyone ever heard of this? Let me see. Anyone, anyone? No? Okay. What about those flavored chips? Ooh. Ooh. Ketchup. Okay. Macintosh toffee. I, you know what? I wonder if I should break this. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Ooh, more chocolate. I, I go nuts for chocolate and ice cream. Uh, arrow. It's almost like a cookie. See, it has, it's chocolate, and then it's got the airy um, chocolate inside. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Whoa. A big bag. Oh, boy. Ooh, ruffles. Now, let's see. Ruffles, all dressed. Anybody speak French? <laughs> I'll put this in my communicator. All dressed. Um, I mean, you took French. All dressed uh, something. Oh, it's got tomatoes and vinegar. Hmm. I love vinegar on anything. This calls for glasses. I may have to open these up. Let me see. Canada... Canada. See, Canada's very own. You'll enjoy this bag of ruffles, all dressed chips in it. You enjoy unique Canadian food. It was invented here after all. If you're seeking something sweet and salty and savory, all in one bag. Okay, folks. Is this is this what they call an official um Mukbang. Is this a mukbang? If I eat something, I'm going to have a mukbang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little mukbang. Ooh. Let me see. Whoa, look at that. Mmm. Well, this bag is gone tonight. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know what to tell you, folks. Tonight, gone. Oh, they're telling you how it's low in saturated fat and contains zero trans fat. I don't really care. <laughs> when I eat food, <laughs> if it tastes good, I'll worry about all that stuff later. Isn't that terrible? Mmm, mmm. That's good stuff. Mmm. Mmm. What a food. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry. Mmm. <laughs> It's like, this is a mukbang, right? Uh, isn't that the word? Mukbang? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Coffee crisp. Look at that. Mmm. And I love coffee. I have like... I mean, I love coffee. I've always been trying to make the perfect cup of coffee. So I have... I went through this. I have a Keurig, which I didn't really care for, for whatever it's worth. I had a, um, the kind that drips, you know, the drip in the glass. I didn't really care for that. I have one that, uh, the kind that they use in England. The presser, where you pour it in the presser in the bottom, you pour the water in and squeeze it down and pour that. Mmm. I didn't care for that. Uh, <laughs> I had, um, I have, um, oh, the kind, the actual, the old time coffee maker that you put on your gas or electric stove and let blah, 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 blah. You know, like Maxwell House. Do, 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 that thing. I didn't care for that either. Uh, mm, mm, mm-hmm. See, coconut shavings. Hi, Happy Lux. Cinnamon powder. So finally, I found one, an electric percolator, which is so far so good, except my coffee is old, I think. Anybody keep their coffee in the fridge? Are you supposed to? I don't know. Um, but anyway, um... But someone I knew at work ages ago. Sorry, y'all. I shouldn't. I, I really shouldn't eat in front of you all, should I? I'm mukbanging it. Everybody else is, is having a mukbang. I'm having a mukbang. <laughs> anyway, um, 
someone I knew at work, they used to put a little vanilla in there. Yeah, percolator does. It does. Brings out so much flavor. What kind of coffee do you use? Hmm. Luxembourg. I love the UK. I'm going there one day as soon as I can talk my husband into it. Mmm. Mm, good stuff. Oh, look at that. Smarties. These look like M&M's, but who cares? It's candy. <laughs> Hold that. Oh, look at bag. Oh, look at these. Oh, my goodness. Hickory sticks. Mmm. This or this. This or this. Oh, <laughs> start with these okay these are supposed to be really good Yuli, julia julia is it julian julian a la hickory everything up in canada is french and we live so close you know oh let's see um whoa my words eat more yeah there's a YouTube channel, Eat More. I, I was just working on my slideshow when I went, oh, eat more, eat more. Um, look at that. Original dark toffee peanut chew. Oh, Kelly, I love you. Yay. Gonna be a long night. <laughs> Not going to bed till the candy is got a dent in it. Let's see. Um, whoa. Wine gummies. That's interesting. Anybody ever seen this? Who's in the UK over there? Twix. Twix star. 63. Mix the bags. Good to see you. Mix my potato chips with those other things. Hmm. You think? What would that do? Would that give me some kind of special taste? I'm wondering. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, these look interesting. I keep it posted on these. They're rolls, like, and gummies. Because they're squishy. Almost, they probably are like juicy fruit. Remember those? Okay. Um, Kinder Surprise. Milk chocolate with... Oh! Um, oh, she's near Germany. Not the UK. Okay. Hubby just sent me the note. A little bit about me. Do not ask me directions and do not ask me geography. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Luxembourg. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, searching Sabrina. Hmm. I'm going to talk about those terms in a minute. Hmm. What is this? A kinder surprise. Hmm. Milk chocolate with milk, li milky lining, and surprise toy. Oh, I'll open that here. I got a surprise toy. Oh, toy. Toy, toy. Oh, wow. We have these, but probably not like the Canadians. Cheese it. Cheesies. Yay. Oh, these are good. These are crunchy. They're not like the kind we have. They're the crunchy kind. I can tell just by looking at them. Okay, and, um, whoa. Big Turk. I've never heard of this. A Big Turk. Whoa. Natural flavors and no artificial coloring. Something, something in French, which could be anything. Made by Nestle. Okay. This looks good. Really good. Oh, check it out for you. Okay, by uh, searching Suprema. Swiss Chalet dipping sauce. Oh, what's she? She's got French fries. I'll make some French fries. Rotisserie and grill. So I'm thinking, let me see, in a saucepan. Mmm, with water. Let it boil. Hmm. Hmm. And then it becomes French. So, 
I'm thinking you dip your french fries and stuff in it. Okay. Well, let me see. Oh, Canada. A Canada magnet. I, I kind of almost know their thing. Oh, Canada. We live right here. Like, right here. So the Canadians are always over here. We're always over there. Especially back in the day because uh, their drinking age for children is lower. <laughs> oh, kids would go over there. Well, see? Yeah. A nice little magnet for your refrigerator or someplace. Thrills. Mmm. It still tastes like soap. I've heard something about these. They're purple and they taste like soap. Can't be any any worse than remember that candy. Hi, Grampy Campy. Good to see you. Hi, Forbidden Food. Can't be any any worse than that. Remember that candy that came out? Trash can. That was something. Yep. Okay, I'm going to try this. Mmm. Okay. Hmm. Mmm. And this is adorable. A magnet. That's a thermometer. There you go. I'm wondering if Canada has gotten out of their deep freeze yet. Because we may be north, but they're more north. <laughs> okay. Well, here just a couple of miles, but, hmm, isn't that cool? Hmm. A lot of our beekeeper um, pre presenters and everything come from Canada. Well, okay. And the maple leaf. You do know the maple leaf is their... Um, I'm, a, I'm pretty sure these are made out of uh, maple syrup. That's their big claim to fame up there, maple syrup. And they make maple syrup candy, maple syrup, this, that, and the other. So some of these. And I would say, oh yeah, that's all folks. But <laughs> I would say that is really worth the 25 considering that includes shipping. So, you know... The address is in the beginning. Hi, Hobby Money. Of you should have the Bee Lady written on it. Oh, yeah. It's got, it's got YouTube. Hey, everybody around YouTube. Hey, there you are, our life of a mill wife. Everybody around YouTube. Blah, blah, blah. YouTube has one of these. She's in the chat. Life of a mill wife. She ships over here. She's in Canada. Way up there someplace. I don't know where. Hmm up there but she ships here and um 25 bucks you get all this food so up oh, where'd that go oh. and i you know knowing the price especially look at the size of this you walk in one of those convenience stores what's this gonna cost you you know anybody know we'll leave you running it's too late here Okay, thank you for being fruit. I wonder where she is. She's somewhere. You know, I should touch on that too. Um, with this, with this activity going on on YouTube, move the arrow. Uh, with all the different channels, uh, I'm I'm thankful and life of a mill wife too. Manitoba. Remember, I don't do geography. Anybody know where that is? Yeah. I, I'm, it's these forbidden fruit. These are, um, it's, they're from Canada. That's what this is, a goodie bag, if you look at the description. A $25 goodie bag from Life of a Mill Wife in the chat. It says, all dressed. It's got vinegar, onion, and I think, I think tomato. Whatever it is, it's good. I got a whole pile right here. Is this muck banging? Mm. Oh, she's on holiday until July. Must be nice. Oh. 
Hmm. Somebody in here said they eat these with uh, ketchup. Now, and this. A very nice assortment of goodies. Very nice. Oh, let me open up my little toy. Oh, I'm such a kid at heart. I really am. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Whoa. It's an egg. It's an egg. It's a chocolate egg. Look at that. That amazing chocolate egg, and inside is I don't know. I know I have a chocolate egg. Let me put this in here real quick. Hmm. Press up, down. Is this some kind of a challenge? Because I just lost. <laughs> oh dear. Um. And oh wait, wait, wait. No. Ah. Give it to my husband. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, how cute. Look at it opens. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, my goodness. I, I got a... Star Wars. Okay, I'll put my Star Wars guy. Look at that. Look at that. The Force. The Force is with me. Okay. Force is with me. Okay. Oh, he must go on here. Yeah, this is the force. Whoa. I don't know who this is. I hope it's one of the guys that's winning. <laughs> Let me see. Look at that. That's so cute. It just sits right up there. Yay. It says, this is adorable. I just love Star Wars. Uh, whoa, is this a good guy? Hmm. Oh, yeah, and then this goes, oh, I see, and then this, oh, smart. Boy, I tell you, the force is smart tonight. Hmm. Well, I'll figure that out later. It's not that smart. <laughs> um, see, it's, it's the force. It's the force, and I'm going to keep this out because the force is with me. I just love Star Wars. Anyway, ah, uh, thank you. So, oh yeah, she had a baby. Uh, oh, you're watching the baby. Oh, how nice. Well, helping with the baby. So anyway, that's Kelly. She's in the chat. She does these boxes. 25 bucks. How's our time? Great. Half an hour. Okay. Um... So now, are there any questions about our beekeeping? Uh, there's a very small, short video on our channel. Um, what I've been doing all day is getting ready to go tomorrow because today it's it's we had some errands to do and it's too wet from. Yesterday. Is it raining where everybody else is? Like, no stop, like, non stop raining. Like, no, no stopping. I mean, our grass is about like this. Whoa. This, this, I guess. I don't know. Um, so anyway, um, the rain is just terrible. I mean, I, I don't know what we're going to do. And, um, in our bee yard, which is, I don't know how many hives are down there. Maybe Bee Man knows. Um, you need rain in Texas? Wow. Anyway, um, our hives are either, and you'll see because I have a few videos to put up tonight once I get them edited, edited, but not edited the way you edit them. They're either roaring or dead. We came across a dead one yesterday. <laughs> Just dead. Um. Well. Mm, mm. So good. I gotta stop that. We'll show you that. I'll take a video of that. I mean, they're just dead. Um. It was a smaller hive that we packed away for the winter. Okay. Didn't make it. Um. So we'll we packed it all back up once we saw it was dead. 
because you know as a beekeeper you want to know what happened here you know if it's something like um wax moths or, or something bad i don't know what but you know like you're looking for disease first aside from pest you're looking really for any kind of disease like the dreaded um uh, what is it um american fowl broom you don't want to see that stuff i mean people have burnt down whole bee yards because of that you know what texas lone star or tech star um down there last week and I don't know if any of you all saw this. This is just a general beekeeping thing because I this is we're no instruction tonight, folks. Um, this is for your questions. Um, down there last week, somebody burned up the hives of I think it was a half a million bees. Did you see that Texas Lone Star? Anybody else see that in, in the news? There is um, a lot of vandalism to beehives people don't realize it why i don't know well i know why competition okay um not so much jealousy as comp i want to say comp competition or a few you might say competition of what well and i'll get back on our our, our group down there in a minute you did grampy campy yes it was awful I mean, they, they go in and they just, you know, take care of hives. It has to be someone that knows what they're doing. Plus, a lot of the hives, they just jump, dumped in the pond that they had there. Big pond. Okay. Um, you have to figure, when it gets to pollination, I was looking at a chart the other day. 100% of the almonds... That are that are grown in this country are dependent upon honeybees. No honeybees, no almonds. Okay, they are grown in um, California. Anybody here in? Uh, you're afraid, Grampy Campy? Well, I used to be afraid. Hmm. But then, when we decided to do it. You have to have confidence in your bee suit. They can't get through that bee suit. I mean, they can get in the in the crooks and nannies if you leave it open. But they can't get through there. Uh, see, I didn't know. Thank you, life of a millwife. Thank you, Kelly. I didn't know. I'm thinking, I'm asking my husband, why, why, why all the almonds? What's the what's the deal with almonds? Because I don't eat almonds that much. But the almond crop in this country is 100 percent dependent upon um honeybees. And then next is the blueberry crop, which is up in Maine, because they leave from, and I'll tell you how they get there. They leave from California to Maine. That's 90% dependent upon um, honeybees. No honeybees, blueberries are going to take a dive. I think like apples are 50. A lot of your crops that are, that are kind of low, but a lot of your crops are dependent upon bees. So... What commercial beekeepers do, and you'll hear the term commercial beekeepers, like we're in two clubs. One is, um, I call it the friendly club, <laughs> uh, and we just joined that one. And in New York, no, Western New York, it has 1,100 beekeepers. There are a lot of beekeepers in this state. In fact, uh, New York uh, has put out, I think it's 45, is like 45% of the honey production in this country. Out surpassing us folks, out surpassing everybody is North and South Dakota and Minnesota. Don't, I never knew that about North and South Dakota until last year. Why? I have no idea. I guess my husband was saying the plains out there, I don't know. But uh, North and South Dakota and Minnesota, they put out the bulk of the honey in this country, okay? Good, Grampy Campy. Um, and, you know, Texas is up there. So, uh, Twixstar, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you're in Texas. Texas uh, puts out a lot of honey. 
But anyway, when you get, we the first club we joined was um, a commercial B club. And, you know, we're sitting there with people that have upwards of 100, 500 bees, beehives. I mean, all, and they have that in different yards all around, okay? You know, like a bee, a, uh, like, how can I say, a bee yard over here and a bee yard in this land and a bee yard there. And, and they, and a lot of them, when they're commercial, they put those beehives on flat boxes, on flat beds. And they truck them around the country. And they're put in between the crops, especially the almond crops. And there's such a thing as a beehive broker. <laughs> okay. You go to the beehive broker and say, okay, I got this many, I got this many beehives that I'm willing to truck truck wherever they need, or I want something close. And then you tell them what you want. You tell them, I don't want any pesticides, I don't want any this, I don't want any that, you know. Come on, folks. That's that's anybody's guess, but that's that's what you tell them. Um, the rate conservatively is about a hundred bucks a hive. Dear, am I coming in low ball or high ball? So, just think about this. How many? If you've ever seen these beehives, that's a hundred bucks. I don't know if it's a month. Is that a month? I'll have to find that out. But if your bees are on the road and you've got a thousand beehives, which is eh, to a big commercial beekeeper that has, I don't know how many people out there taking care of the bees, uh, that's, that's a nice hunk of change. And, you know, if I'm not mistaken, those bee boxes have to be uh, eight, eight boxes tall. Our tallest is maybe one, two, three, four, five. We have had seven. Uh, they don't do well with seven going into the winter here. But beekeeping is a huge business. People don't realize it. Um, most of our honey in this country that comes over here is from Vietnam and or China. Uh, they were both caught <laughs> putting sweeteners in their honey and all kinds of other uh, 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 stuff. So... Now, you know, everybody wants to check them, check it out or whatever. But still, most of your people want to buy from a local um, produce stand. And I encourage you to do that. We don't, but there's a, a beekeeper down the road, up the road, not that far from us. And he has, I think, about, about twice as many as we do. So somewhere he's in the 40s somewhere. Our original goal was 50. You know, honestly, we're at 20-something. We'll let you know once we get through going through these. I, what did we start out there? 29, 20-something? 20 yes. Hey, you love chain. Good to see you. Yeah, you're right, Grampy Camp. Hi, Mama Tried. All you, I don't see. Um, we started out with 29, I think. Was that right, dear? Okay, we'll see you later, Twixstar. I think 29. Um, so, um, we just found one dead one. We saw two others with no activity, so that's three. So, I figure if we get out of, get out of this with 25, 24, not bad. Um, considering that we made a significant investment last year to get back going. We started with 10. The recommendation is to start with two. We started with 10. I, we were ambitious. But, um, and we had good times and bad times. We went through, I think, five years. And, you know, they died, they lived, they died, they lived. You know, it was a combination of things. We, you know, winter, laying workers, all these things you've heard us talk about in chats. Um, so, the other part of the business, aside from the honey, is the bees' wax. Uh, beeswax doesn't have any of that paraffin and stuff in it. It, it, it burns really soft and bright. 
It doesn't, I mean, if you have asthma or COPD or allergy, you know, anything like that, you, you don't, you know, you'll hear people say, oh, I can't burn candles. Well, no, you can't burn the candles from the store because they have all that stuff in them, but you can burn beeswax. Uh, it's, it's very soothing and it won't do anything to you. I'm trying to think. Uh, a high priced out item out of there is the propolis, I think. Don't ask me where that goes or what happens to it. B-Man's more an expert on that. And uh, something else in there. I don't think that deep. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that, but I don't. But there are a lot of, a lot of things in there. Uh, ideally, something I really want to get into is raising a queen. Raising queens. Uh, that way, you can sell queens. The queen is... is the mainstay of your hive. Also, um, making nukes. Now, we don't sell nukes, but a lot of large beekeepers, you know, they have, they're shipping their bee, their, um, they're shipping out their beehives. They're selling their honey. They're selling their beeswax and, or they are making, uh, lip balm, uh, uh, hand hand cream or whatever, all kinds of things. Um, I just I was on I was on a channel, probably isn't in here, Glam Beauty, and she was doing um, something with her hair, and she had a product which I've never seen before, um, like wax that just push it, you know, make sure your hair stays back. And it arrived today. I ordered some. It's beeswax and some other stuff in it. So beeswax had a, has a lot of uses. So, you know, and the fascinating thing is bees didn't originate in this country. They weren't here before uh, they were brought here. I think, wasn't it Australia, dear? I think Australia, unless I'm mistaken. Raw honey only, right, Grampy Campy? Yeah, I, shipping is too much, Grampy Campy. We're working on that. Um... But yeah, um, shipping costs are just, oh Lord, that's why everybody has Amazon Prime, because shipping costs are outrageous. Anybody try to ship something somewhere, you know that infamous, if it ship, ships, it fits? Right. It'll fit for some astronomical, what I consider an astronomical amount of money. Um, plus there's, um, you know, you really don't. You, you really don't want honey to be in plastic, which is really interesting because a lot of the honey sold in stores is in plastic. But anyway, you want it to be in glass, and that just kind of makes the shipping a little more treacherous. Two real quick things. Our printer cartridge gave out, so even though I have a list of everybody that was in the chat last week, and I have a list of everybody's in the chat this week, you won't make the wall. See, I extended the wall, if you notice back there, until we get another cartridge, so it'll be up there in the next week. And I cut off comments this morning. So, if you didn't comment <laughs> on a video by this morning, you're not, don't expect to see yourself in the next uh slideshow i am not eliminating people you comment in the first one you're good to go um that's kind of interesting it gives me uh it, it i you know it really gives me the opportunity to take my time with a cup of tea and go through each channel it, it's just fascinating it's not like oh yeah let me do this you know i put the little hearts on there because you know i do intend to go back and leave um, words. Anybody that I've left words to on your comments, you know, oh my goodness, this lady <laughs> loves to write. Educator here, former educator. But yeah, I love to. Um, but anyway, um, it, it's because I have to go to the channels to get the pictures. And it's fascinating. You know, and I look around and I'm like, what is this? What is this? And like I was saying earlier, a lot of foreign channels, uh, India, Philippines, Pakistan, West Indies, Africa, Canada, Mexico, you name it, uh, Germany, UK, uh, 
Australia. You know, usually on YouTube, people will think, well, the UK and Australia, they're not really um, foreign. You know, the UK, Australia, stuff like that. But these other channels are just amazing. And I find myself using a lot of Google Translate <laughs> so I can, you know, say something but they're tremendously friendly they're tremendously open and they're doing the same thing we are it's amazing there are a lot of them are cooking um a lot of them i don't know where i could get the ingredients that's that's another thing i don't know if you can substitute the ingredients but oh my goodness some of the recipes are just like fantastic I mean you know it really does open up another vista um, I was in a chat last night uh, supporting a channel that's new and everyone in there there were like 20 some odd people everyone in there did something different every single one no two were alike there was a vlogger there was uh, a drone guy there was me the infamous beekeeper uh everyone in there did something different there was a farmer there was uh oh there was a guy that had reptiles there was i mean they all did something different it was amazing it was it was amazing you know there was a shopper uh it was it was just amazing i i couldn't believe it I mean, you're talking 20 some odd channels, and each one had something, did something different, was the focus of their channel. It was amazing. Um, so, the good thing about this whole, you know, we want 600, whatever it is, subs or whatever, whatever. Grampy Camp, are you still in here? I meant to tell you about something. Don't leave yet, Grampy Campy. I'll, okay, I'll leave you, a, uh, I'll check you an email because you need to be on that support train Friday. If you're still short subs, I'll send you an email, Grampy Campy, okay? Life with Rosie, hey, good to see you. What water's down? Yeah, they do water the honey down. But yeah, I was in there and the the, the dishes and, and the channels and everything. So folks, if you don't, I you know, if you don't have anything to do in the evening or something, I encourage you. You know, and they're not sub for sub, you know. You'll find that people come to your channel, watch what your content is, leave you comments, and, you know, I'm up half a lot, half the night like this. But, I've, you know, it's amazing. It, it, it is just amazing. And it's been probably one of the uh, best experiences of myself on YouTube. You know, yes, I started out with uh, homesteaders, farmers, and beekeepers and I'm not going to leave them that that's my heart that's my heart but you know it's it's we're, we don't live in a little world anymore we live in a big world and yeah you see Canada big world this is mukbanging I'm mukbanging Rosie <laughs> we live in a big world and it, it's you know we think of YouTube as United States uh-uh YouTube is worldly and it's really good to get out there and see what people are doing. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Astonished. I haven't come across another beekeeper. I guess they're all doing what I'm doing. They're busy. But can somebody tell me why everybody is afraid of bees? You know, I go, oh, the bee lady apiary. And they go, apiary, apiary. And I go, well, apiary is just a fancy name for bee yard. Meaning, where we keep our bees. Now, we happen to live on a farm. So our bees are way down there. I don't know, hundreds of feet away. Um, that's where our bees are, and that's properly called an apiary. Okay. There are a lot of beekeepers called apiaries. Um, mostly beekeepers. But um, you know, people are afraid of bees. They're, you know, they're just terrified. Uh, something I said last year in one of the, the classes I taught is you gotta have confidence in your bee suit. You have that bee suit on, that veil, you gotta, you're got you hunkered down there. They're not going to do anything to you. In fact, they can recognize you, believe it or not. I don't know how they do it, but they do. And they're not going to bother you, you know. And I really am trying to encourage more ladies. Nothing against, hey, bee man in there. 
Hi, uh, Noah's Ark. Hey, good to see you. Thank you, Rosie. I'm trying to encourage more ladies um, to get into beekeeping. Not a lot of ladies, but there are, you know, just more ladies, uh, other cultures and things. It's not that bad. I mean, they're, you know, believe me, if they were going to bother you, I wouldn't be out there. Because if a mouse were to come in here right now, which I'm, I'm upstairs, so I doubt it, but we get field mice every now and then. But if I see a mouse, I'll leave the house. That rhyme didn't it? I will. My husband will tell you we had a break. <laughs> Remember that deer? Smell? Oh yeah, smell. Hi, Noah's Ark. Um, we had a we had just had a brand new floor put in the kitchen, and I had this propane torch that I was using to burn. Well, I had asked for it to use burnt weeds outside. And I saw one of those field mice, and I started to go after it with a propane torch. And my husband says, you want to burn down the floor? I go, well, I, I, we have extra tiles. You know how when they put your floor and they leave you the extra tiles? Was not happy. Not happy, and he hid my torch. To this day, a year and a half later, I'm still looking for that torch. Honey, where's that torch? Where's my torch? Uh, yes, I know. And that's the other thing. You know, they go, oh, a bee bit me, a bee bit me. They're not going to bother you. If you watch the videos when I, I get them up, they lay, you know, they're on our hands. Uh, and one, those that were live there, so they're all over my husband's back because you do not wear dark clothes around bees, a bee yard. He had on his dark green jacket and they just clustered there. They just sat, they just sat there. They don't care. They're not going to bother you. Wasp, on the other hand, have a very mean sting. Uh, they actually attack you. Uh, yellow jackets actually attack you also. Uh, I don't know what bumblebees do. I do know that our daughter told me that bumblebees are now extinct. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, it would be good. I mean, it's once you get rolling, you know, it's you can get a lot of used stuff and stuff. I just... Part of it, I say most of it is the fear. Like, I used to be really, really afraid of dogs. Now we have two. You know, and these aren't our first two. So it's just getting over the fear. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, 756. I'm going to head over to Country Girls Channel. Um, I'm going to take these with me. Ah! <laughs> Remember. Ooh. Remember. Uh, Life of a Mill Wife. Get your uh, goodie box from Canada. $25 including a uh, flipper. All this stuff. All that stuff. Huh? Mm, ketchup, potato chips, and everything. No. Good stuff. So, I'll take this down there with me tomorrow when I'm working. In the meantime, this is a bee ladies thing. I wish I could share this with you, but I can't. <laughs> I mean, no, really, I would. I, I'd share it. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Thank you, everyone, that will watch this later. I know everybody is everywhere going to, to live streams and everything. I totally understand. So no worries here. And uh, I'll be up tonight also doing that. And I want to finish my next uh, slideshow. Okay. So until then, consider beekeeping. They'll love you. And uh, don't forget your YouTube pillow. If you know someone that has a uh, Amazon affiliate in their description, one of our dear channels, uh, Two Family Homestead does. You may want to Go on over there. They don't have this listed, but it's only like four dollars or something. I don't know what the shipping is. It's relatively inexpensive too. If it was expensive, I wouldn't get it. Trust me, I try to make one. So that's it for now. And until next week, where we'll be back. I'm squinting because I don't have my reading I have my reading glasses on. See, until uh, next week when we're back with the regular grind. Well, not the grind of the channels, but with some more beekeeping stuff. Um, 
This is the B-Lady and B-Man saying buzz, buzz.